Hello, hello. It is Wisdom Wednesday. Are we live? I believe we are live. But I'm not seeing the uh, the timer show up like it usually does, so I'll just assume that we're live, and if we're not, so be it. Wisdom Wednesday, December 27th, 2017. Getting close to the end of the year, but it is still the Christmas holiday season, and so the rhino of the day today is I got one of our uh, rhino ornaments off the Christmas tree and then I will head back to uh, put it still up there because the tree is still up and in fact as you can see here in our terrace here all our Christmas decorations are still up and maybe you can see out towards the front of the house maybe not but I digress so today Wisdom Wednesday and uh, this comes from a story I put the quote from David I Dwight David Eisenhower about leadership and he said it's the art of getting someone else to do what you want done because he wants to do it and uh, first of all you can see it's an art so leadership being an art being a skill being a mixture of uh, rules and experience common sense gut feeling all that kind of stuff goes into an art speaking of leaders Rob Valinga is here great seeing you Rob uh, was a leader of the men's ministry at Willow Creek Church, uh, one of the leaders of the men's breakfast ministry up there uh, when I was working up there with, uh, with Rob, great senior. So this came about because I was speaking to a client the other day, and uh, he said uh, he was going to take his family on some completely crazy, hey Jim, some completely crazy adventure, like uh, because they wanted to take their, their, it was they wanted to take their annual family holiday photo and they wanted to take it up in the snow, snowy mountains. And they're here in Arizona, and so this was like, I think about three hours north they were gonna go. And that meant a six hour drive. So a six hour drive with like five kids in the car and heading up there just to take a photo and come down. And I'm like, you know they have Photoshop. You know they have like a, an artist, you know, someone on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R dot com, you get stuff done for five bucks, they'll put your photo onto a background of a snowy mountain in Arizona or whatever. I mean, come on now, six hours. And nowadays in the car with all these kids, six hours means everyone's got their separate headphones on and looking at their separate iPhones and computers and handheld games and whatever. And like, So there's no camaraderie, no family thing. This is not like some kind of bonding family outing. We're going to have some fun. This is simply a trek of like six hours to take a photo. I mean, hopefully they take a few and they'll pick one or two or whatever, but I mean, come on, crazy. But uh, my point is, uh, his response is, well, well, that's what my wife wants me to do. And he used her name, of course, but I won't. I will, uh, I will, uh, the names have been changed to protect the guilty. And so uh, he's like, yeah, well, that's what she wants. And I'm like, what a, you know, I didn't say anything, we moved on. But I'm like, if it was a business setting, uh, and he is a client of mine, so if it was a business conversation I wouldn't allow that kind of crap that is a crappy excuse which a lot of guys use a lot of uh, uh, husbands use oh that's the way my wife wants whatever you know which is all you know I'm not to say about your personal life that's all good but if you ever use that in a business setting I see it sometimes in the business setting and I see it mostly when it comes to customers and business owners will say, well, that's what the customer wants. Or, uh, hey, how come you took them on as, as, as a client? Or how come you did business with them? Well, because they walked into my store. Or because they put their credit card into my website. Or, you know, they signed up at the event I was speaking at. And so they'll, they'll take on somebody because that person led the, the transaction. And that's a huge whopping mistake, and it, it, is, it is, uh, goes against Dwight Eisenhower's definition of leadership. Because as business owners, we are leaders. We need to be leaders. We need to lead our employees. We need to lead our customers. We need to lead our suppliers. We need to lead everything that's going on. And it's appropriate this time of year, as people take some time, I am, to uh, think about 2017 and to set some goals and some uh, plans of attack for 2018 and where do you want to be and what you want to do and the question is are you going to lead yourself and your business towards those goals towards where you want to be and so as Eisenhower said it's the art of getting someone else to do what you want done because he wants to do it 
that's what sales is all about. That's what marketing, advertising, that's what business is all about. That's what being a, a leader, being a business owner is all about. It's, be, it's about getting your employees to do what you want done because they want to do it. It's about getting customers to buy from you, which is what you want done, the right customers to buy from you, because they want to. So you hear me talk often, especially here on Wisdom Wednesday, I've spoken about it before, you gotta sell people what they want, not what they need. And that's the art of leadership, is selling them what they want. Having them want to buy from you to reach your goal, which is of having another customer. So keep that in mind that when you do marketing, when you do sales and you do advertising, that's why that's an art, because it's a form of leadership. And the Eisenhower quote, which he, of course, uh, came in his case from the military as a uh, four-star general and then later the president. So talk about leadership. It's a pretty good source to go for. But it works for all business owners, big and small. You always want to be in a position of leadership and not in a position of being led, not in a position of saying, well, you know, I hear this all the time, like, uh, how come you did that for the customer. Well, that's what they wanted done. Like a graphic designer makes a crappy website or graphic, d d crappy design or crappy logo or makes up a crappy brochure or business card. Well, that's what they wanted. Look, I, I'm famous with my clients. My goal is to make them money. So I don't do just what they want. They come and say, this is what I want for my website. This is what I want for my ad. And I'm like, yeah, you can do that if you want, but you'll just be throwing your money out the window. So let me suggest this, but then the art of leadership comes in. I need to explain it to teach why what they're doing won't work, why what I'm suggesting has a much better chance of working. There are no guarantees, but what, why what I'm teaching them will work to get them to want to make the changes that I want them to make so they'll have a successful brochure, website, business card, email, speech, webinar, whatever it is, whatever way they're using to get their irresistible offer in front of their chosen target who, and that's the wow strategy. So be a leader, always remember the quote from Eisenhower that leadership is an art and it's the art of getting someone else to do what you want done because he or she wants to do it, Eisenhower back in the 40s and 50s, a lot much more chauvinistic world, just saying he. So Melissa's here, great to see you, thank you. Phil is here, great seeing you. And uh, Brian is here, the author of the Happiness Bible. I don't see any questions, comments, concerns. Put them in a comment below, uh, or if you're watching on the replay if you want, and I always respond when appropriate. And uh, that's it for Wisdom Wednesday. So for another spectacular, we're, we're seeing mid-70s all week here as we get through this uh, really rough winter that we have down here in paradise in Arizona as the, uh, the colors don't come out that well on the phone as they do in real life but we're seeing some spectacular purple and orange colors coming out on the mountains. Jer Dog is here. Great seeing you Jer Dog. I just watched your ranting live video which was definitely uh, definitely entertaining which is what you do and I also uh, recognize some uh, some good marketing you were doing and so uh, good for you man and uh, here's to a fantastic 2018 for all of you but before then I'll be back tomorrow with throwback Thursday and I hope you'll join me then thanks everyone being here today catch you tomorrow bye bye